Electronics are a mixture of plastics and metals, none of which is biodegradable. A recent UN report found that globally, we're throwing away 48.5 million tonnes of electronics, 80% of which ends up in landfill. Here at EMPA, the Swiss Federal Laboratories for Material Science and Technology, scientists have developed a material that can replace all that plastic, and it's all made from wood. Dr. Gilberto Sequeira is the lead scientist. The three main components of wood is cellulose, lignin, and hem cellulose. We start with the bulk wood, we cut it to small pieces, shaped like this. So you're almost shredding the wood down to a paper thin strips? Yeah, yeah, the smallest you have in the beginning, the easiest for the fibrillation. After this process, what we have is a chemical process, which is well established in the industry, where we produce such kind of uh, wood pulp. Here is the dried wood pulp. You can see this fiber-like structure that we it's have. It's like dried paper mache. Exactly. But here you only have cellulose. Okay. And why is cellulose so important? Cellulose is uh, very interesting due to its mechanical properties. It's easy to functionalize. We can use it for many applications in our daily life. We Charity specializes in recycling, refurbishing and disposing of waste electronics. Volunteers dismantle and restore 70% of the waste they receive. They recover significant quantities of precious metals, but electronics also contain toxic substances, such as mercury and flame retardants. If it wasn't for the work they're doing here, it would end up in landfill, ultimately harming our environment. So much of our electronic waste ends up in landfill, and so precious metals like this gold dust is lost forever. But thanks to the research being done in Zurich, that may not be a problem in our future.